Answering Answers from all across Northern California. This is the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm ashamed of whoever did this. Whoever did it, it's not speaking for our community. The city of Vacaville shocked and alarmed over a vandalism incident that's being investigated tonight as a hate crime. A car was allegedly set on fire with the letters KKK written on it. And tonight, police are searching for the people responsible. New tonight, CBS 13's Sharin Roger is in the newsroom with more. Sharin? Sam and Adrian, a possible hate crime of this magnitude is rare in Vacaville, and it's causing quite the uproar on social media. Those I spoke to tonight are disgusted. Sad, disappointing. Really is that someone would do something like that in this day and age. Just after nine Monday night, a car parked on William Street near Merchant went up in flames in front of this Vacaville gas station. Investigators soon realized the vandals had left a disturbing message. It's indicative of a hate crime, and we take that very seriously. Esme Vanta works nearby, and like many in the neighborhood, he's never seen something like this. Like it says here, KKK. Well, it's very uncharacteristic for this neighborhood and Vacaville in general. I'm ashamed of whoever did this. Whoever did it, it's not speaking for our community. Police are investigating the fire as an arson and believe it somehow started from inside the vehicle. We believe the vehicle was secured at the time when the, when the owner left it, so we're not sure how um, a potential suspect may have gained entry to the interior. The car was towed away Tuesday afternoon. Its owner did not wish to speak on camera and is uncertain if he is the target. He didn't witness anybody approach the vehicle and he could not provide any suspect leads at this time of a motivation for this or, or who would have uh, any problems with anybody that might be responsible for this. The ground still blackened and the scars of the fire can be seen going up this telephone pole. And now the big question, who did this and why? I hope that they get caught and I hope they have to reimburse the people for their car and I hope they have to maybe serve a little jail time and a lot of community service. Now, this is a serious crime. Whoever is responsible could face felony arson, felony hate crime charges. We don't have any dis uh, suspect description at this time, but they are sifting through the evidence. They're going through the surveillance videos that hope they're hoping can leave them to their suspects. All right, Sharin, thanks very much. Live for us tonight in the newsroom.